Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today we're going to be talking about how to manage your cargo efficiently in Death Stranding. So as you can see, at the moment, my cargo is over-exaggerated, if you will. Obviously, there's no way this is how I would carry my cargo around. And we're just going to be talking about the best ways to streamline your cargo on the game so that you can just get around a lot easier. Before we do it, though, I do want to mention the fact that I'm, I'm going to have a few things on this cargo that you probably haven't got yet if you're at the start of the game. So I guess they're minor spoilers of things to come in the game. So you take that into consideration anyway, guys, in case you do not want that spoiled for you. And um, with that being said, let's get into sorting out our cargo. So we're going to start off with streamlining the cargo that's just on our person here. We're not going to use the access terminal just yet. And the way you jump in to manage your cargo is you press the options button and then you just press X and it'll take you to managing your cargo. Now the first part of the cargo we're going to utilize is this little pouch in the front here. It can actually hold up to four items. We only have three items that can go in it on the current cargo we've got. And those are those white boxes. So look at the size of those white boxes when they're on your backpack. And then you can just put them in this small pouch here which is definitely something you're going to want to do. It's the blood bags it is, by the way. So if you've got any blood bags on your backpack, you want to go ahead and chuck them into this little pouch here. I'm sure other things can go in the pouch as well, but for me on this cargo at the moment, the only thing that will fit in there is the blood bags. So let's go ahead and put them in now. Uh, that's one, two, and three. And you can see already the space that saves on your backpack is massive. So you definitely want to make sure that you're utilizing the pouch if you have anything that can fit in there. The next thing we're going to deal with is going to be this blue box at the top here. And this isn't really something that should happen, to be honest. I put this up here more for the comical effect of taking the thumbnail picture. Um, so we're going to go ahead and equip that again. Just so you know, when you do have these equipped to your legs, you no longer have the space on your legs to carry anything else, which is something to know, obviously. But you'd be pretty silly to be carrying that around when it's actually going to help you carry things around if you equip it. Um, not really a tip, but, you know, it was up there, so we had to deal with it. Up next, we have the gun, the bowler gun, that is. And basically, what I want to talk about with guns in general is what do you want to access really fast? And that is what you want to use this slot for. Hang on tool rack. Now, the tool rack is something you can access instantly. So whatever you hang on to your tool rack you want it to be something that you think you're going to need. Maybe you're going to need it fast or you know you're going to need it a lot when you're out in the field. So make sure you're hanging something that you want quick access to on your tool rack. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like now. So we'll go confirm for a second here. Confirm our loadout. And once you've done that, if you press left on the D-pad, you're able to instantly access what's on your tool rack real fast. If you want to access anything else, you obviously have to hold it down and go and pick it out like this. And then whatever you pick out will then go onto your tool rack. So now we've got a um, rope on our tool, tool rack. But obviously what I would like to have is my gun on the tool rack. Um, just in case I need to access it at any point. So whatever you do designate to this area, you are going to have quick access to. So it's always something to keep in mind when you're sorting out your cargo. Now the next couple of points are access terminal points. Obviously, you want to make sure that you're streamlining the things you're carrying because the less you carry, the less energy you use and the faster you can move, of course, making it easier to get from A to B. And there are two ways to offload things in the game. You can put stuff in your private locker or you can recycle stuff. Those are the two main ways of doing it anyway. So if you go to recycle, you can offload things like metal, which you'll actually have access to those parts at a later date. You can actually use them then to craft stuff in this area or fabricate stuff. I think they call it in Death Stranding in this area. So we're going to go and put some of our metal into the recyclers here. Um, let's put multiple metal in. We'll put all the metal we've got into this area. Another thing you can do is offload things like this spray here. You can see it's almost empty. It wouldn't be worth carrying around with that much spray left in it. I have a full one here already. So those are the things I'm going to recycle anyway on this occasion. So just press X and then go recycle and then go to confirm. And that's like obviously something you want to make sure you're doing is not carrying around anything really that you don't need because then you can always pick up more. There's always metals to be found out in the field um, in the open world, you know, as well as other containers containing a bit of everything, whether it be lost cargo or something like that. So there's no need to really hang on to metal or anything like that. In my opinion, there's always more to be found. And then for things you don't want to get rid of, you go ahead and put them in your private locker. For example, currently I have... What is it? Four climbing anchors. So I'm going to go ahead and put two of these in the private locker here now. We'll go and tag two of them up. It's square to tag multiple things at once, by the way, guys. Because there's no way we're going to need 
three of them when we're out on our next journey so they are just dead weight on our back and stopping us being able to pick up other things placing private locker just like that and yeah that should be it for our cargo i would say so basically that is how you streamline your cargo any questions on the cargo leave it in the comment section down below let's have a look at what our cargo is looking like now um yeah so you can see it's streamlined as well Obviously, one little tip that I haven't actually mentioned, which I will mention now as well, is the fact that you can put stuff onto your arms as well. So you can attach to the suit. Simple stuff, really, but if you've got long items or heavy items, you want to have them close to your body on your back, and it's only the small items that you can actually put on your suit. So it's definitely worth utilizing the suit as well if you are carrying a lot of stuff. And that is basically how you streamline your cargo on Death Stranding. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy.